Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Insert Coin to Begin Presents Let's Play. I am Chachi, says owner, curator, awesome guy of InsertCoinToBegin.com. Joining me this week, we have Riz and Fuzzy, contributors and awesome people from InsertCoinToBegin.com. I'm sorry that I do not have any female persuasion for you this week. They are all busy. I can put on a wig. I can't help it. No, this isn't that awesome cash show where we make you put on a fake beard. <laughs> you can be who you are. Awesome cast is available at sorgatronmedia.com. Uh, in case you're joining us for the first time, insertcointobegin.com is a gaming website with gaming news for gamers by gamers. In on with yeah, about about um we give you the gaming news that interests you and us alike. This is Let's Play, the show where we get together for about a half hour, give or take, and we ask hard-hitting questions that usually are ending up in Lego movies. Uh, there, there's four questions, three of which are minor questions, get about five minutes each, give or take. And then Lego we have Wrath the, of Khan. And then we have the... Uh, the, the boss fight, which uh, takes up the rest of our remaining time and definitely ends up with us naming Lego movies. Lego Undiscovered Country. Space. <laughs> so, uh, before we get into that... Lego Chachi Brain Fart. Let me just state that you can find us on Twitter at InsertCoinTB, InsertCoinToBegin.com, Google+, Facebook, iTunes, we're everywhere you should be and more. Subscribe, subscribe to us on iTunes, like us, tell your friends... We are awesome. Now, let's start off the show with the, the question that we ask first each and every week. What are you playing, and did you play the challenge last week's challenge being Quest for the Crown? And it's going to be a kick in the nuts for Bobby when I see him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fuzzy. Yeah, I didn't play the challenge. Hey, <laughs> you lucky You, you are bastard. lucky. Uh, what are you playing, buddy? Uh... Picked up Split Second, came out, uh, I believe, in 2010. It was made by uh, Disney and BlackRock Studios. It was a new innovative racing game that is one of, well, probably the best, most original racing game that I've ever played. Just excellent game. Too short, but excellent game. It's the kind you can play over and over again, though. I've also been playing Osmos HD on my phone. Which is like this little, like, you're a little floating orb and you need to absorb, like, the smaller orbs. And then there's, like, bigger orbs that floating that push you away. And there's a lot of orbs. Orbs. I've played that on my phone. It's not bad. It's not It's not exactly a, uh, uh, a phone game, in my opinion. I, I think it's more of a, a, a tablet-type tablet, uh, tablet type game just because of the, the size. Yeah. So, Riz. Yes. What are you playing? Did you play the challenge? I played the challenge, and I'm going to line up behind Chachi. <laughs> when I see Bobby next. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I've also been playing on my iPhone Amateur Surgeon 2, which <laughs> is a very cool finger game that you can play. And Song Pop, which finger is game. addicting. Deadliest Warrior Legends. I'm going to get to that in a little bit as well. And. Conquers Bad Fur Day. I've been playing my N64 for some reason. Yeah, he sent me a, a, a G chat saying that. Uh, oh, what was it? What they need to. I, <laughs> I I sat down and I've been used to playing on my Xbox, which has a, <laughs> a start said, button uh, on my con, on my controller to start the Xbox up. So I sit down. I'm ready to play my my game. I realized oh, I have to go up and change it. Yeah, he said you sent me a G chat that says I am too privileged in this day and age. I just realized I have to get up to turn on my N sixty four. You lazy bastard. I remember in my day when <laughs> when you had to stand up to turn on your video games. And to yeah. turn them off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that it's yeah. Uh, okay, I, what did you play? I played the challenge, um, all forty-five seconds of it, plus a minute and a half of credits. Um, so yeah, that was fun. Uh, I I mainly played uh, Monster Ate My Condo, 
and um, uh, Call of Duty. I I taught Sorg the ins and outs of uh, survival mode on uh, Call of Duty Black Ops or not Black Ops uh, Modern Warfare Three this week, didn't I, Sorg? Mm-hmm. And what did you learn? <laughs> Very good. Um, yeah. So, uh, does anyone have a challenge this week? Mm. Wow. Says uh, that would be a no. No. <laughs> All right. Um. You know what? I'm Let's- a song pop. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. This week's challenge is song pop. I will uh, tweet our usernames later. <laughs> Josh, he's so sad. Why do you guys make me play this crap? <laughs> Scramble with friends and then hey. song pop. Chachi? Yeah. This is why. You getting pissed. <laughs> I'm not I'm pissed. Not. I'm disappointed. <laughs> I can't see the chat room. Um, uh, Matt said that he's uh, been playing Minecraft. And replaying Half-Life 2, and then I can't see... Oh, uh, he just beat the Follow Freeman chapter and started Scrim. And Bobby said, Quest for the Crown at least made you something. I can't see it. (laughs) I'm over here saying that I can't see the chat room, so I can have uh, Sork fix it, by the way. I need to switch this show. Talk for a while, so I can get off. Okay, <laughs> so moving on, um, we had German interaction on the Facebook page this week. Yeah, there's some German guy that uh, left us a video saying that video games are too violent in this day and age. No. What? No, because it, it just led to a random uh, news thing that wouldn't load on my phone, so I didn't bother to to uh, to look at it. Um, However, uh, that led to the the question, uh, are video games getting more violent with the advances in technology or not? Um, And apparently in the the Google Notes, I've been replaced by someone named Dirk Diggler. um, uh, And I said, uh, yeah, they are. With, uh, With the advances in... The graphic technology for video games that allows these people to be more graphic, i.e. more realistic. And that's what people really want in these video mm-hmm. games. They want realism. Uh, de- not. It doesn't matter what game it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it happens to be... A, a, if it happens to be a violent video game, then I, I feel that it's just going to be as real as possible. Fuzzy. Um, I think that... Some games have been staying about the same. Now, given staying the same for some is still extremely violent, but others are still pushing forward to be more violent. I think to stay edgier and to keep that appeal going, like the whole, oh my gosh, I can't believe that factor. Because take a look at the most recent Mortal Kombat game. The X-ray combo moves, uh, some of them are just ridiculous, where you punch someone so hard you burst their spleen and they throw up all over themselves. Like, that's, that's, well, you saw some of those combos. They're, yeah, mm-hmm. it, it was. It they're was downright the same, nasty at times. It was the same uh, technology that they used in uh, Jet Li's Kiss of the Dragon, where in certain fight scenes they showed uh, the finishing blow, which usually was a a bone breaking in a most unfortunate way. Uh, Bobby said, "Custer's Revenge." Fair enough. Yeah. Riz. Uh, yeah, I actually posted a video about this on in the doc. If we can play this, uh, it's about this. It's about the same thing Fuzz said. Uh, but the deadliest warrior games, the ones I've been playing, they have some of the most intense finishers I've ever seen. Like, there's one who chops off every body part. One that chops off their heads. One arm, limbs, everything, and you know what? It's fine. That's no, but it's what it, it like. This is good. It's realistic, and it's not really well, kind of realistic. But it's it it gives you m- more of a feel than just 
stab, you're dead. Well, also with the Deadliest Warrior games, though, that's based on historic accuracy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I and mean, it, all it is is the, the game matching the realism. Right. Um, and, it's, it's, and the blood and the gore actually insinuates that, too. And the, and the decapitations and all that stuff. So right. it makes it for a more realistic game, which makes it a lot fun to play. Yes. Because realism is what we ultimately want in video games. Exactly. Apparently. Yeah, no video game makes you go take a crap. Nope. Unless you want to just do it in your pants. That's very true. With, with with the advances in certain games, such as uh, Grand Theft Auto, uh, I know in Grand, Def- Grand Theft Auto San Andreas that you actually had to exercise and, and eat. eat right, or yeah. you would just get fat. Um, they they never make you actually have to go to the bathroom, which is an integral part of I don't know living zombie survival. Yeah, <laughs> living the Sims does. Well, the, the, Sims the Sims are different. The Sims make you go to the bathroom, mm-hmm. or else you're just gonna piss and poop everywhere. You can the, pee. The, the, you the can Sims go. also let you stay in a little room with no doors and just keep on pooping. Yes. Yep. You, you can, can just fill that room with poop. You can uh, urinate. Maybe that's and you can urinate on Postal Two and do them forever. <laughs> yeah, but those are side things. They're not requirements. So at this point, Sims is the only one. That requires you to go to the bathroom. I think you get some kind of XP bonus for doing it in Duke Nukem. You get like an achievement. <laughs> <laughs> what do you get? It's like, wow. Ding! You peed. Good job. <laughs> you went to the bathroom. Congratulations. You went to the potty. <laughs> Congratulations. You, you moved up to big ass. boy status. You know, I, I, I can see uh, toddler clothes that have Xbox achievements on the chest that say, I went number two. <laughs> <laughs> Someone needs to make that. That is now. amazing. Yeah. Someone needs to make that. Oh, what other ones could you I think about it? We'll we'll come back to this. Maybe this will replace the uh the whole Lego movie. No. Um someone's changing my name again. Oh, God damn you. Alright, um and this this next question stems from a conversation we had Sorg and I had on a road trip over the weekend. Um it's not exactly what uh, was discussed, but what is the worst video game movie ever? Riz. Uh, I've only seen probably two or three video game movies. Uh, and one is a close second behind the other. The second one is Pokemon. But the first one <laughs> beats Pokemon. See, I like the Pokemon movies. Yeah is Street Fighter. But the only thing that keeps it from being total sucked is that speech that John claude Van Damme said, spoke as Guile. You can't understand a word he's saying, but it's funny to watch. But yeah, that's it. the rest of the movie sucked. Okay. What are the what's the other one? Well, you're gonna get in that suit later. Uh, okay. Yeah, it. I once you sit once you put it in the docks. I'm like, oh, that's right. <laughs> Fuzz. I'm with you, Mario Brothers. <laughs> and the thing is, it like I remember seeing that movie when I was a kid. I remember being disappointed. <laughs> I remember it being bad on a point. So bad that, like, there's a part of me that wants to see it again, but there's a greater part of me that says, no, it was awful then. It's still going to be awful. Don't waste those hours of your life. You won't get them. You can get it for $3 brand new on Amazon. That's way too much. (laughs) <laughs> well, that's you, still way too much for you, Mario Brothers. You can get it for a dollar fifty-two used. It better have free shipping for that. Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, two. And screw those guys. 
I was going to say something else, but I'm trying to keep my uh, swearing to a minimum. How do I swear all you want now? We're going to have new sound effects. I'm kidding. Don't do it. Okay. Sorg will murder me if he has to do any more editing. And I don't I don't want to be murdered. Oh. I'm going to pick it up. You know, for the for the six bucks uh, price and shipping, I, I think it's worth it. Plus, I kind of want to watch it again. John Leguizamo makes a horrible Luigi. Everyone in that movie makes a horrible everything. It should be... Bowser was good. It should be the Super Horrible Brothers. It's a bad movie. It's the worst video game movie of all time. I hear Sorgut disagreeing. You ball. No. This is the worst video game movie of all time. The worst... It is most disappointing. The worst video game movie of all time. And all time. I, I mean, I, I understand what you're saying, Sorg, but on a scale of shitty movies, I, I feel that Super Mario Brothers ranks lower than House of the Dead. So, yes. All right. Mm. Fuzzy. Yes. Tell us what the uh, the boss question is. Boss question is, what is the biggest missed opportunity in a video game? What game should have been made but wasn't and therefore is just a huge missed opportunity, a tragedy, just, just a horrendous thing that this game wasn't made? <laughs> hmm. All right. Go ahead, Riz. Well, they were hinting about it on the dirt sheets when E3 was coming. Then they were stopped by uh, Valve and everybody else there. But Half-Life 3 needs to be made. I haven't played one or two yet, but I've been hearing everything under the sun <laughs> that this game has to be made. Please make this game so they can all shut up. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Stop. Yes. So, you are saying that they're missing an opportunity of yes. to make a game of which you've never played the other ones. No. That hasn't stopped me before, Chachi. Let's see, I've played Saints Row 3 without playing the original ones. I've played a lot of trilogies without playing the actual yeah. double games. But, but the but they they're missing out on an opportunity to reel people in. The difference between uh, what you've said be or what you've done before and this particular series is that they're linear. Mm -hmm. The story continues. Good point. I don't think that happens in Saints Row. I could be wrong because I don't I haven't played them. I think it does. Okay. Yeah, it's a linear game. It, it may do it. But it's not but it's as in-depth as yeah. this series. But still, just so the people can shut up about it, oh. just make this game. Okay. Fuzz. Frank? Fuzz? Mine? Um, about a week and a half ago, I picked up a copy of Split Second, um, the game that I said that I've been playing all week, which I've been playing it all week. It's an excellent game. Unfortunately, when they were working on the sequel, uh, Disney decided to cut the majority of the workforce from BlackRock Studios and, in the process, canceled Split Second 2. The reason why this is so unfortunate is it is honestly the most original racing game that I've played. It had just the dynamics of it were excellent, and it had so many things that a lot of games have moved away from. Your goal in the game even though it is a combat blow em up style racing game, you do not ram the other people. You blow stuff up around them and hope that that collapsing bridge or that you know flaming, tumbling bus hits them. You don't actually hit them yourself. You can ram them into the walls yourself as many times as you want. They aren't going to crash. There's no NOS. There's no nitrous. There's no just inhuman boost. 
you can't pick random parts for your car that make it unrealistically fast. You're just given a bunch of cars. You can pick the color, and that's it. It's just back to basics with those kind of things and just an excellent game. And the fact that they built the storyline around you being a contestant on a game show where you're presented these different challenges, like passing as many uh, tractor trailers that are throwing exploding, ex yeah, excuse me, exploding barrels at you as you can. Uh, the quickest time that you can take down a helicopter that's shooting missiles at you. Uh, your fastest time around a race in a canyon that inevitably has the Hoover Dam collapsing down on you. Those kind of things, no other game has anything like that. No other racing game has had anything like that that was that much of a jump away from just what everyone else is doing with the racing games because they're all becoming the same anymore. They're all just modify your car, tweak the suspension, and you know hit people and you get a takedown bonus. But Split Second was just completely far away from that. And just to put a little bit of salt in the wound, knowing that whenever I finished this game, there wasn't a sequel coming, it ended with a cinematic... Uh, that set the storyline for the follow-on and ended with big bold print that said to be continued. Aww. Question mark? Maybe. Um, all right. Uh, what did I put in the notes? Oh, yeah. I can't read that. <laughs> <laughs> Completely Go ahead not appropriate say that. for the show. Um, no, all right. Let's get to the chat room before I answer. Um, Bobby F. J. Town said uh, Mega Man Legends 3. And Matt said, Duke Nukem forever, before they took forever to make it. And they go on to say that the, the game uh, could have been a lot better if it came back, if it came out back before they had to remake the game. Which is a good point. Um, I think uh, my answer for this question is, is going to be uh, good. Uh handheld versions of Kingdom Hearts. Um, I, I think they, they really missed the ship on uh, creating a an awesome series with that with that game concept. Because, um, I mean, you could have done everything with that game concept. It, it, it could have been... Uh, it honestly could have been another Final Fantasy series, only not shitty. Had they continued to do it right, I am the first and second ones are okay, but then you get into um, Chain of Memories, which is a goddamn uh, card game, and, it, and that's just stupid. Uh, I think if they they would have been able to continue the series and continue creating characters or incorporating characters from the Disney. Square Enix uh, universe, then I think that that series has a way to, or would have been a a series that has longevity uh, in the gaming world. Um, but I think they kind of screwed the pooch on that one when they dropped the ball on uh, the handheld versions. Yeah, I, I can definitely agree with you there. Mm -hmm. I haven't played through any of the Kingdom Hearts games. But I've played some of uh, Kingdom Hearts 1, and it was a really good game. And I think that having a good handheld version of that would have just been excellent for the series. And I could see that one going as just, you know, going into the double digits with how many iterations of the game there was. It, it, it's one of those, uh, and Sword can attest to this, but I mean, it's one of those games that even as adults, we put in hours not not just playing the storyline, but going back through and finding all the, the stuff for uh, Pooh's uh, Hundred Acre Woods and, uh, I mean, all the side quests. It, it, it's one of those games that had they not screwed up with the handheld versions and taken away credibility, that it, it could be um, what Final Fantasy VII is. Or Final Fantasy series is. All right. Before we go, Lego Mario uh, Brothers. No, you can't do that. That's no. It's a video game, not a movie. Video game movie. Video game movie. <laughs> so, no. Uh, before we go, uh, everybody spout out a uh, a Lego movie, and then we'll wrap up. 
Sorg. Lego cars. Wow. Really? <laughs> That's your answer? I almost tweeted that the other night. <laughs> Honestly. Uh, uh, fuzzy. Lego jingle all the way. I want to see Turbo <laughs> Man as Lego. <laughs> <laughs> Lego last action hero. Oh man. Fine. Finish it out. Give me another Schwarzenegger, Chachi. Oh fine. <sighs> you ready for this? Please be the one I'm thinking. You ready for this? I'm ready. I'm not even I'm not only gonna give you Schwarzenegger, alright? I'm gonna give you Danny DeVito. Lego oh. twins. <laughs> <laughs> or or Lego Junior. Lego Lego Kindergarten Cop. <laughs> Sorry, you got Sorg's approval on that one. You have been listening to Insert Coin to Begin Presents Let's Play. This has been episode 15. You can join us every Tuesday around about 8-ish on live.sorgatronmedia.com. Check us out. Throughout the week, every day, insert coin to begin.com gaming news for gamers by gamers for you. The gamers. Specifically. You can check us out on Twitter at insert TB. Talk to us. We will talk back to you. We like talking to people. We, we just like talking. It's what we do. That started off sounding like a threat. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we won't talk back violently or aggressively to you. We will talk with you. About yes. your interest unless, in video unless you're kind of a dick. Let's start a conversation between us and you. Oh, the chat room said Lego Rudy. <laughs> that, that's, a, uh. that's a good one. <laughs> the problem with Lego Rudy, though, <laughs> is that Lego people are all the same size. <laughs> so the movie kind of loses something. <laughs> Sorg, Sorg's losing it. Sorg lost it behind the, the keys. Sorg, Sorg's back there laughing his ass off. Visualizing. <laughs> he, he thought about it too much. <laughs> he thought about it. Uh, Sorg is the, the gentleman behind the switcher that makes all of this magic happen. So he is there. Hi, Sorg. There he it's is! Sorg. Peek-a-boo. Every once in a while, you will hear him. He will make comments. He will bust up laughing at something we said. But ultimately, his job is to sit back there and push the buttons for the show. Lego Total Recall. <laughs> that one's been said before. Oh. Um, Which one? The original. Not the okay, new one. the new one. No, not the new one. Anyway. Lego March of the Penguins. You said that one. Yeah, we said that already. But no. I, I think that's one of the best, though. He specifically said that when this originally started. <laughs> I remember. Anyhow, I am Chachi Says. You can find me on Twitter at Chachi Says. That is at Riz IUP and at Fuzz One. Chat with us. We like conversing. We talk way too much. Yeah. I'm throwing that out there. And at Sword and If you like swear words, I do that a lot. Yes. We also drop F bombs around everywhere. Sorg isn't there to edit that. Yes. He he does not have the time or the energy to edit our uh, Twitter feeds, which would be awkward. Anyhow, thank you for joining us this week. Join us next Tuesday. Oh. For <laughs> I, got too, I got too excited. <laughs> My excitement is overspill, overflowing. Uh, oh. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Excuse me. Oh. My, my excitement let some gas out of my mouth. <laughs> Finish it! Anyhow, thank you. Join us. Check out everything that we do at SorgatronMedia.com. Awesome cast. Wrestling Mayhem Show everywhere you want to be and more. So, until next time, I'm Chauncey Says. Keep it nerdy, nerds. <laughs>